The Austin Healey 3000 is a tremendously popular British sports car. It combines really great classic styling, beautiful curves, along with a big, powerful straight six motor, lots of torque. Everybody loves a Healey, but a couple of things that you need to look at if you're thinking about buying a Healey, and we'll go through some of those right now. First thing to look at with an Austin Healey is the condition of the body, and you want to start with the bottom 20% of the car, particularly the rocker panels and the lower parts of the fenders. The rear fenders in the bottom and the dogleg area are notorious for rusting. The bodies are actually built pretty well, and the panel gaps should be pretty even. You shouldn't have doors hanging out. Obviously, this car is a beautifully restored example. The panel fit on it is excellent, but that's one thing that you should check with the Healey. The other thing is, get underneath it by all means. Lift up the carpets. The floors, very prone to rust if the car had a leaky top. The other thing to look at are the frame outriggers on the car. They tend to rust near the jacking points. Healy's on the interior not particularly difficult to restore with the exception of one area. They have these beautiful polished wooden dashboards that can be fairly expensive to re-veneer and re-varnish and, and, and get them looking right and, and show quality. Mechanically, Austin Healy's are really straightforward. A three liter push rod, straight six, two big SU carburetors, four speed transmission, very often with optional overdrive, live rear axle and leaf springs, very, very easy to work on cars. All the parts are available. Engines are pretty much bulletproof. Legend is the engine for this car came out of a dump truck. What you want to look for though in general, the inner fenders, the firewall should match the color of the body. Very, very hard to put those things right again. So scrutinize the engine compartment of a Healy pretty carefully. Most of the Austin Healy's that came to the US were fitted with knockoff wire wheels. They look very pretty, especially when they're chrome plated like these wheels are on this car. Most of the time though they came painted in a silver enamel. You want to check out the condition of wire wheels on any British sports car. So you want to go through and make sure the spokes are tight and the wheels are true. Best way to do all that stuff is on a test drive. Get the car up to 60, 65 miles an hour on the highway and see how the steering wheel feels. If you've got a steering wheel that's wobbling out of your hand, you've got some wire wheels that need some attention. People love Austin Healey's because they combine classic styling, more than adequate horsepower for today's traffic conditions. If you want a Healey, look out for the things that we just talked about. You should be just fine.